Hi, my name is Odrek Ravogo, and I work at, as the head of exports and industry advisory team for the president of Uganda. Earlier this week, I heard, I listened to some fake audios that have been circulated, and they were ostensibly done to respond to some comments that were leveled against me and the work we do over the weekend. Eh? Now, I would like those who follow our work and who support some of the measures we're undertaking to grow our exports and manufacturing and our economy, and those of you who like our family, I want you to have peace. And I repeat, I want you to have peace. That voice is not mine. And I cannot lend my tongue to this kind of evil talk. You might not know this, but there have been many of these fakes. Fake videos, fake audios, fake personas, since December 2019, circulated against me and some of the work I do. And in fact, if you go to our YouTube site, uh, Tap Media, you'll see that some of the teaching of the last 10 years compiled and some of the responses we have in the past made to these contrived videos and audios. Huh? This time I felt tired. I didn't want to respond. However, I understand that leadership is a burden. Eh? So the burdens we carry for our country and our families often force us to answer things of this nature. We carry burdens for our society and we have to keep redirecting people to see who we are and our character and our work without tiring. That's, this is why I'm responding to this. Lead. I have even seen some of the teaching I did six or more years ago, often adulterated, to achieve a particular negative objective. Huh? I want you to know this is simply subverted thinking of some people who stoke hatred for their own purposes. Yeah? Just so I can speak to you directly, there are three things that guide my worldview, and I hope they can help someone. Yeah? First, is that we as human beings do not create life. Even if we live to be a hundred, this is nothing in the history of the world, and even more, in eternity. Therefore, what we do on earth must seek to bring honor and glory to God and show gratitude to Him. Now, all of us know that insulting people or lying about them is not a God honoring practice. It is instead a very suboptimal, degraded public behavior that I cannot engage in. None of us on earth is infinite. We are all finite. And therefore, if we are all finite, we need to respect God and His creation. Respecting other people is a simple, but very powerful virtue that is godly. Second, my family. So, just so you know, I come from a very small clan and even, even a smaller family because my great grandfather was killed in an internecine clan fight about the year 1856. He left one boy and one girl. That boy who was my grandfather, uh, died young in the area of Sembabule, Ruengo, there. It is my father and my mother from 1978 who had a sense of a stable family and they produced seven children. I grew up with these seven siblings. One passed away recently during COVID, but in 2002, God expanded my own tent and gave me a family of my own because I have four children and a wife. But God also gave me a larger extended family of my wife, where she comes from. But there is also the larger family of the movement that I have worked, served, taught in for a long time. There is even a bigger family called Uganda. It is to these layers of families that I belong and I'm accounted, accountable to. Listen, people, I take these families very seriously. And I am very measured in what I say to each of these families. Huh? This is because it is from families that we come. 
and it is to families that we return when all is said and done. Now, when you know your history and you understand your fragility as a people, you have a sense of proportionality and you live for a higher purpose. Uganda doesn't have many burial grounds in cities because cities are recent, less than 100 years. Eh? Many of our people are returned to their families and their villages and their communities when they depart from us. Now, therefore, so for those of you who have been sponsoring insults against my own family, in my community, on radios, online, in chat groups, in places that I have taught for a long time, since 1992, places I grew up in, you need to know that I know all of you. But I forgive you because you do not know what kind of seeds you are planting. You need to read the history of your country and Africa to restrain yourselves from doing these kinds of things. I am confident as Ruawogo, as a member of my own family, as a member of this extended Uganda family, I'm confident that we will overcome you because our responsibility is to our family and to those who see value in what we do and to the larger Uganda family and to the Africa we serve. By God's grace, our character and our behavior were engraved, please mark that word, engraved long ago and we will not now depart from it because of current circumstances. In the Greek language, there's a beautiful word that comes from the same root with the word character. It's called caressing, caressing. And it means to dig in, quote unquote, dig in. It's not on the surface. Huh? It means that to build character, this is not a shallow pastime activity. It is digging in, often alone, after midnight, lonely, under pressure, to find out who you are. And I have gone through all that for a long time. That's why I forgive. I seek, therefore, to protect and nourish my family instead of answering those cheap attacks leveled against me on a daily basis, especially in the last four years. Eh? Third is our work. My calling in the last 33 years of my adulthood has been to really be careful at surfacing what often appears as unwelcome, unhealthy reality, especially on the matters of economy, the matters of quality of institutions, the way we communicate, our style of leadership, the level of organization. I surface these things and in the process help people who care to listen so that they can adapt to some fresh thinking. We have done this through teaching, mentorship sessions to try and demonstrate how to deal with the reality we face as a country but which often a number of people don't see this work is sometimes 18 hours a day and many months on end and we do it with all our commitment knowing our heart is in the right place this is because we know this is our calling the germans call it berufung this is our calling that's why we do this eh? the people i work with don't have time for these lies and attacks and they are very hard that these things divert us from the very important work of the country that we're doing eh? so i want to ask you please leave us out of this shallowness for we don't have time to abandon what matters for our country to engage in that which seeks to destroy all of us as a country therefore these three things I mentioned, the fear of God, the respect and protection of family and community, the work on exports and manufacturing and mentorship of young people. These three things bring true meaning and purpose to our lives. If you like me and you like my family, please respect these three things. Please restrain yourself from lying and spreading hate. Respect and treasure the unity of the communities of Uganda and support the work on manufacturing and exports that we're engaged in. Those of you who have been made to believe these fake audios, now I want to show you, to tell you, this is me in flesh, blood, and in voice. All the other voices pretending to speak as if it is me are a lie from the pit of hell. I do not need anyone 
or any props to speak for me. I have hands, I have a mouth, I have a head, and I already speak directly on all issues of our country because I have been fighting for a sense of collective ethic for our country a long time. I cannot therefore be the same person to abuse and insult people online. Stay well and God bless you.